John Lydon is on an African quest through real jungle to meet some real wildlife. Having already made the acquaintance of some chimpanzees, he is now in Bawindi Impenetrable Forest for a jungle trek that will bring him face to face with some incredibly rare mountain gorillas. John is in a makeshift camp in a remote part of the forest where tourists are not usually allowed. He reached the camp late last night for a one hour hike down the mountainside. As soon as the group is ready and assembled, Moses, their guide, leads them out into the jungle. John and the group are hoping to see a family of 23 gorillas. It might be a long and arduous trek, taking anything up to nine hours. Haha, -ha, that is a Marianthus tree. The gorillas eat the fruit of that, and when they uh, poo poo, the seeds from that germinate and another Marianthus tree will prop up. Now, it wouldn't germinate normally on its own. So the gorillas influence on the jungle is through their effluence. As Ian and the tracker go ahead to pinpoint the main family group, John and Rambo stay behind with Moses. Why do naturalists all have beards? If I stay out here long enough, do you think I'll get one? The biggest occupation of a gorilla is this. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty punk. <laughs> That's a good sound. <laughs> what does ooh ah mean? Ooh mm. ah. It's like some 50s rock and roll record, isn't it? Happy and the food is nice. <gasps> no, same thing will be good. Who's got a case of monopoly? Ian has spotted a group of gorillas up ahead, so the group is soon on the move once again. Moses just told me they want to cross the path, so we'll let them. Silverback gorillas are social animals, living in extended groups of up to 40 individuals, at least one adult male as head of the family, several females, and they're young. A silverback is the world's largest living primate. A fully grown male can weigh up to three times as much as an average man and have an arm span of eight feet. They're all around me. So good looking. That's a truly contented feeling. Excellent. Not shy at all. Superb animal. Kalibu. Kalibu. It means welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome in you. Hello. Welcome to the big jungle. Hello, welcome. Look at that. Posing about in the full sunshine. I think that was a great... Coming up there and standing in the sun there and having a good old butcher's at me. Most satisfying. That has to be exceptional. Mm -hmm. I don't quite understand how exceptional that was. Um, yeah. I'm very good with all this stuff. They just seem to come to me. <laughs> Natural charisma. Don't know if it's that, oh, but I wouldn't deny it. <laughs> <laughs>
heading off to sit and cross the river. If we get back to, we are the luckiest people on earth. Seeing gorillas cross water is a very rare event. They can't swim and rarely drink any water. Maintaining their diet is enough to sustain them. There's two just here where I am, and they seem perfectly content. I don't mean them no harm, they don't mean me none. What's up with that? Gorillas communicate with each other using complicated sounds and gestures, and have at least 25 recognised vocalisations, including grunts, roars, howls, whines and chuckles. Bad girl. These gorillas are not in the mist, are they? <laughs> this is gorillas in the full view. <laughs> What's all this tracking for months nonsense? You should have just asked me. <laughs> They're little grunts and squeaks to each other. So they know where they all are, I suppose. And they've got no use for words. And frankly, neither do I when I see them. Now, how many is that we've seen? Almost the whole group. Almost the whole group. How many in, in that? 23. 23? Yeah. Well, that was superb. That was speechless. Yeah, I it's all right, was not it? The fifth or sixth time I've seen gorillas crossing a stream. Really? In, in 20, too many years, 28 years, I don't know. You've been at it a long time. So, well, well, I'll give you my phone. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in touch. <laughs>